Hello guys, welcome to my this video and today in this react tutorial I will show you how to install react bootstrap in your react application which is only made for react. So guys for that here you have to open a browser. So here you can open any browser. I have opened google Chrome, and now here just simply you have to search the react bootstrap ok. So I will type here simply react bootstrap. By the way the link I will provide in description. So you can go to the description and you can click the link so directly you can open this site okay so now i will open the first link so here this is the first link and this link i will provide in my description so directly you will redirect to this site okay and now guys here you can see the getting started so you have to click that one and after that here you will find the installation command of react bootstrap okay so here is the version you can see here this is now bootstrap 5.1 version okay and if you want to add bootstrap uh, 4.3 so you can choose the version okay so based on your uh, version so here it will be added the version here okay now it is 5.1 so here you can see it's added here the 5.1.3 so you have to simply copy this installation command and after that here you have to open command prompt okay so command prompt means guys here this is my project you can see here if i open so inside this e drive i have the project name is my app so you a same project you it will be in your, uh, in your machine also so you have to open this application and here simply you have to go and after that you have to create, type here cmd okay so and guys if you haven't created your projects uh, so you go to the playlist and there you will find the react tutorial so you can watch those all, all videos from begin so you will understand that how to create the new react application okay and now guys after that you have to go here and type cmd so that means guys if you type here cmd and enter so it will be open a command prompt so what is the main thing why i'm i have opened from there because guys here you can see it's open inside this e folder e drive and then my app folder means uh, this command prompt is open for my application okay this is my app the name is my app okay and now guys if you install anything any command means you are installing for this react application because this is my application so now you have to paste this installation command okay like this way. otherwise if you are using visual studio code editor okay like this one so this is my visual studio code editor and here i have opened this my app application here you can see the my app and after that the project structure you can see here okay if you are getting confused so you have to watch my all the tutorials from step by step so guys after that here you will get the terminal option in visual studio code editor that's it that is the advantage of visual studio code editor so you have to open the terminal from here and new terminal and after that here you can see it's directly open uh, this terminal inside your e drive and my app application okay so same here you can paste the command and you can type enter okay two ways you can do that okay uh, this is totally depend on you so now here guys i am i will install from uh, this command prompt actually guys i will not go to install because i already installed this one because just for saving the time okay if i go to install so it will take time and uh, your time will be wasted so that's why i already have installed but uh, for your case you have to install this command okay and after that guys here you will find in the package.json file so you will find the react bootstrap is installed here you can see the react bootstrap is installed because i already installed so so now guys the main thing is i will close the package.json and after that guys here i al already created some component the name is about block and the home component so uh, in between that i have opened only block component because here i will just show you the uh, bootstrap component or any other uh, any one bootstrap component okay but before that guys how to implement installation is completed now guys uh, time to implement okay so guys if i scroll down so here you can see this is the code code for import okay so here it's clearly written that this code you have to import in your index.js file or app.js file okay so i have already opened app.js file so this code i will import in my app.js file by the way if you want to import it in index.js file so you can do that okay because guys the step i already explained like first uh, all the component this is component component is nothing but it's a page same when we create html page so that is it's actually page okay but uh, this is react is a javascript library so here we don't write dot html here we write only dot js file so this is page okay so this page first of all it comes to the app.js file here you can see app.js file and this app.js file we call it index dot 
js file and the index dot js file is called inside this index dot html so the step i have already discussed okay so now guys that means you you can call it app app dot js file or uh, you can call it index dot js file okay because uh, uh, app dot inside this app dot js file all the component we call here okay like see this is block component and this block component i am calling here okay so now you are thinking uh, app dot js call inside this index dot js and index dot js is it's called inside this index dot html so why you don't import it index dot html because guys this is html file so there we can't import right we can uh, add link link relation style sheet uh, href or script source that we can import but not this import command okay so that's why we import it either js or uh, i mean either app.js or index.js okay i hope it is clear okay i will not go to more explain about it because it will take more time so just simply i will install so now the bootstrap i mean dot css is imported okay if you are thinking how or from where it is coming so guys all the package when you install so that store into the node modules folder so if i go to node modules folder so here you will find the bootstrap okay so just you have to search it so i will just show you once so here you can see bootstrap okay so inside this bootstrap here is the dist folder and there is the two folder css and js so now i imported only css file okay so here if i go the css so here you will find the bootstrap mean dot css okay this uh here bootstrap mean dot css so same way uh we need a js file as well so here if i open the js folder so here you will find the bootstrap mean dot js file this one okay so same thing you uh, i have to import as well css and js so css i already imported now the time to import for js file so just what i will do i will just copy the same line okay and i will paste here and dist after the dist folder i had shown you there's the js and bootstrap mean dot js okay this one okay so now it is done and now guys app.js file is not needed so now i will close this one and now simply i will go to the browser okay and here if i scroll down so i you will find the components okay so inside this component there is defined kind of thing like accordion different 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 thing whatever you want to implement so you can do that okay uh, now guys here you have to copy the code this is accordion code okay so you have to copy the code so here is the copy button just simply you have to click this one so it will be automatically copied so i copy it and now guys here uh, i mean in which component you want to add it so i want to add it in block.js file so just simply here i will paste this accordion okay the code of this accordion here you can see the accordion is added okay so now guys if i save this one and if i go to the browser so this is my project so here you can see it's showing error because guys here when in the inside this uh, i mean in the react bootstrap uh, there is the api okay i'm using accordion so there is the accordion api so simply you have to just scroll down and here you will find the api for accordion so this is api accordion so every time uh, if suppose you, you are uh, trying to implement this uh, carousel so same uh, all the uh, all different types of carousel you will find here and after that you have to scroll down okay at the end or uh, then you will get the api so like here this is the api so this api you have to call uh, in which page you are implementing accordion so in blog.js page i'm implementing so i have to call this inside this here uh, by the way you can call this and the main module main, because inside this main module we call our all the components so you can call it in main module but guys it is uh, it is go, uh, bad practice because guys if you call this accordion in main module means in which page suppose uh, you have the about page so there is uh, accordion no, no, it's not needed so that time this uh, api will be loaded okay without reason inside this about company this api will be loaded so it is not a good practice in which component it's needed so only that component you have to call this one okay i hope that also clear so now if i save this one and if i go to here so here you can see accordion is displaying and now if i click this one so you can see it's working perfectly okay so same way guys here is the defined different uh, other components uh, like uh, carousel or different different types of components okay 
so you can implement those component as well as per your requirement so guys i hope it is clear and this way you can implement accordion and guys in the uh, next video i will show you how to how you can uh, Im uh, implement carousel in your application bootstrap carousel okay so i hope guys this video you have enjoyed and you have learned something if you find this video is helpful so guys don't forget to like this video and if you want to get more update in react so please subscribe my channel as well